I don't like when people are asked, are you a feminist? It seems simple enough, but most of the time it's a disingenuous, baited question. The most common way that I see feminism described these days is the belief that all genders are equal and should be treated that way. So basically what people are saying when they ask this question is, are you a bad person? Like, are you a bigot or not? And that's clearly not a thing you would normally ask anyone because it's not a useful question. No one would honestly say yes to that. So instead we say, are you a feminist? And pretend that it's a more profound line of interrogation when really it's like designed to make people unwittingly make themselves look bad. Now see, the problem lies with the ambiguous definition of the word feminism. It kind of reminds me of the word Islamophobia, which is similarly ambiguous. If you type Islamophobia into Google, you get this. Islamophobia, dislike of or prejudice against Islam or Muslims. Now, if you're savvy, you've already noticed the problem with this definition, namely the conflation of Islam with Muslims. Islam is the name of a religion. Muslims is the name of a group of human beings that practice that religion. Those are two very different things. It is quite possible, and I dare say common, to dislike Islam without disliking Muslims as people. This is why Islamophobia is a bad term. It tries to cover two things at once that can be at odds with each other. Now, on the other hand, if you Google feminism, you get this. Feminism, the advocacy of women's rights on the grounds of political, social, and economic equality to men. Personally, I like this definition. This is usually the definition I'm thinking of when I use the word feminism. But again, if you're sharp, you've probably noticed that there's kind of a little bit of a difference between this definition and the one I mentioned earlier. See, the earlier definition describes a personal belief or worldview, while this definition mentions advocacy, which implies action or activity. If you look at the synonyms that Google provides, provides for feminism, you see, among other things, the women's movement. The general belief that the genders are equal and the activist movement that activates for that belief are two completely different things. It is very possible, and I dare say common, to believe that the genders are equal and should be treated as such while at the same time being critical or wary of the feminist movement. I would probably include myself in that category. But because of this ambiguity, if someone answers no to the question, are you a feminist? The response is generally either, are you saying you don't want equality? Or you must not even know what feminism means. But the problem is you're asking two different questions at the same time that require two different answers. It's a baited question. You can't answer it because if you say no, you're either an idiot or evil depending on which of the two questions the person wants to invoke. In my view, this is intellectually dishonest. Personally, I think the feminist movement should be more thoughtful and introspective about why someone might say that they're not a feminist rather than just saying, oh, you're just confused. You don't know what you're talking about. That's like super condescending and short-sighted and elitist. Now, unlike the term Islamophobia, which I think is mostly a useless gotcha term, I don't think we should get rid of the word feminism. I think a women's rights movement is valuable and necessary, just like an LGBT movement is or a racial equality movement is. I just think we should get rid of that first definition of feminism. You don't get to claim someone who agrees with you on one thing as part of your movement if they don't personally identify with it. Incidentally, we do already have a word that describes the belief that all people are equals and should be treated as such, egalitarianism. Now, there's no specific egalitarian movement as far as I know. It's kind of too broad for that. But more specialized movements like the LGBT movement or feminism or even things like socialism or liberalism could be considered branches of the egalitarian mindset. And these movements might be good or bad at what they're trying to do. That's for us to decide later. The point is the activity of a movement is distinct from the worldview that drives that activity. And those two things should not be talked about as if they are the same, which is usually what's happening when some Someone asks, are you a feminist? That's just me though. But I want to know what you think. Drop a comment. I want to go ahead and give a shout out to all of the new subscribers. How you doing? Consider pressing the thumbs up button if you like the video. And subscribe if you like my hair.